if he isn't already, my next guest this morning is soon to become one of your favorite entertainers. He sings, he plays the piano, he plays the keyboard, he does impressions of artists, he acts, the list just goes on and on for this man. Now he's based here in Key West, he performs worldwide, and to his fans, he is simply known as Boodle. Dave, thank you so much for being here with me today. Oh, uh, you can call me Boodle. <laughs> <laughs> Boodle, that's what I'm calling you all morning long. I love it. What a catchy last name, too, well, Dave. That's been my nickname for my whole life. Yeah, well, it, it's a good nickname to have. Mm -hmm. Now, Dave, when I was going over the list of things you can do, one thing that I didn't include in that list was gymnastics which okay. is something in your past life, right? You didn't include that because it was in my past life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it anymore. <laughs> I still think that if I asked you to do a back handspring, back tuck, maybe you could do it. Uh, I could. I'd probably spend the next week in the hospital, <laughs> but I could do it for you. And, well, then your fans would be very <laughs> upset with me, so don't do that. But as long as you get on video so I can prove that I did it at this age, mm -hmm. that's all. Well, Dave, gymnastics was a big part of your life. In fact, it was such a big part of your life that you almost didn't go into the music career. True. Yep. I was um, training for the Canadian Olympic team with uh, the York University team. They were sort of grooming me to be the next uh, Olympic hopeful sort of thing, which was great for me because gymnastics was my life, and that's what I loved to do. Although I was doing music on the side, and uh, music was part of my life, um, I come from a musical family. So it was always part of my life. Mm -hmm. um, switching from gymnastics totally into music was a difficult thing, but it was also um, fun for me. Uh, I think what happened with gymnastics, uh, training with the team, with the York University team, um, basically I, I didn't want to do it anymore mm -hmm. because I was getting lonely where I was living. I was uh, at the university. I didn't know anybody. Um, and I said, this is enough for me. I want to do something fun or more fun than what I'm doing now. So I switched into uh, music and stayed there. So you chose music, Dave. But somewhere along the lines, you also decided to become a stunt performer. Yes. Um, what happened was I decided on music full time. But in the meantime, I got a call from, a, from an agency that wanted me to do some stunt performing for a place called Canada's Wonderland, which is um, a, a huge theme park in uh, Toronto and uh, I couldn't turn it down so I did that for a year then got asked to move to Australia to direct a show similar show with a different theme park and uh, that was another opportunity that I could not pass up mm -hmm. so I moved to Australia for four years and I did um, a theme park there where I was also asked by a, a, a place called the stunt agency to do movie stunts for them. So mm -hmm. I became a high fall specialist. And uh, that's one of the things you have to do to get into the stunt business to have a specialty. Mm -hmm. So when you get in, then you learn how to do other things like set yourself on fire and roll cars and stuff like that. So it's fun. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> dangerous and, and it fun. was dangerous for you because didn't you break every bone in your body at some point? Pretty much. <laughs> I don't know how many bones you have in the body, but <laughs> pretty much. They were pretty much all broken. And the doctors told me years ago that uh, it's not a good thing for me because when I hit my 40s, I'll start feeling it. And I did. And I still do. <laughs> <laughs> but you have so much energy. Dave, out of all the performers I've seen, I have to say, you top the list of energy. I mean, your shows are are so jam-packed with energy. You have so much personality and your comic presence is awesome. Thank so, you. So Thanks I, very much. I love your shows. And, and Dave, before Key West, you were in Bermuda. That's correct. For yeah. years performing there. 20 years, yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, another opportunity that I couldn't pass up because it was such a, a good, uh, what we call a house gig, where you just have one, one uh, job in one hotel or, or one bar. And this happened to be a standalone bar that was uh, an amazing place and sort of the, the mecca for entertainment in, in Bermuda. Mm -hmm. So I stayed in that one bar for 13 years, the last 13 years that I was there. Uh, the first seven years I was there, I, st I was at a place called the Cock and Feather, mm -hmm. which was another entertainment venue. And um, 20 years later, um, my wife and I decided that uh, it was time to do something else. Mm -hmm. So we traveled around the world looking for a place to live. We want to live on an island again because we like the island life. And uh, we ended up in Key West. 
And you're loving it. I love it. <laughs> My wife actually suggested that we come here and say, she said, let's try Key West before we go to the Cayman Islands. And uh, let's see what that's like. And I just fell in love with it right away. Mm -hmm. So we packed up our bags, moved down here. Great. Well, you have such a fan base, and you've been really successful here. In fact, you just celebrated your 500th show. How was number <laughs> was 500, great. Dave? Yes. <laughs> it was my 500th show in Key West, in not Key at Lottie Da. I think Lottie Da is 300 and something, whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I didn't mean for it to be some celebration. Um, what happened was I put it on Facebook and said, oh, by the way, it's my 500th show. Everybody showed up last night. It was a Tuesday night. <laughs> and who would have thunk that it was this incredible, huge night for a Tuesday? Because Tuesdays in September are usually, you know, they can be fair to decent, but this mm -hmm. was a great night. And mm -hmm. Michael Thomas came out, and he, he, he brought me this big sign that said, Happy 500th, Dave, Aww, <laughs> and, and, that's and a great. balloon and some gifts. And <laughs> that's great. Well, you also, something that I know you like to do, and I, and I want to ask what it's like as a musician to have so many other musicians surrounded by you. Does it push you? Does it encourage you? You know, it's one thing that I didn't, ha I didn't have that in Bermuda. There wasn't a lot of musicians there. And here, it's, it's very inspiring to, have, to be surrounded by other musicians. And um, Larry Smith was one of the guys who actually, uh, for lack of a better term, took me under his wing and said, hey, Key West, this guy is really good. You, you got to check him out. And so he took me around to all the different bars, introduced me to bar owners and bar managers. And um, so, yeah, being surrounded by different musicians is incredibly inspiring. Mm -hmm. I love it. Good, good. Now, Dave, one thing that you also have added to your resume recently is acting. How did you get into the acting? Yes, I'm an actor now. I can say <laughs> you that. are an actor. I've even written it down like in, in, in the doctor's office. Like, what do you do for the entertainer slash actor? actor. <laughs> Which I'm not. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm starting out acting. And uh, it's going very well so far. Uh, the first play I did at the Red Barn was Time Stand Still with George DeBroad. And uh, it went very, very well. It went well enough that I decided that I'd like to do it again. So now I'm in two different plays. I'm in Cock, which is uh, Studios of Key West, and um, in conjunction with the, the Fringe Theater. They're putting that on. It starts in December, December 4th. And then in March, I'm in another one called uh, Clybourne Park. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be it for me after these couple of, couple of plays. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a little bit of a rest. All right. Get okay. back to the music mm -hmm. full time. Well, great. Well, yeah. our, our viewers can see you at Lottie Daw performing throughout the weeks. Do you have any upcoming dates that they need to be at? Uh, nothing really specific. I'm there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at Lottie Daw. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Everybody knows where Lottie Da is, so I don't have to give them the address. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they're going to fall even more in, Lottie, in love with Lottie Da after they hear you. Oh, perform. thank you. So. That's very kind. Dave, Thanks very been, much. It's been fun talking with you. And if you want any more information on Dave, just check out his website. You'll find everything you need to know there. Thanks, Dave. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these minutes.